Yo, welcome back, sports card fans. We got a little daily pickup at uh, Breaking Bangers in Andersonville, Georgia, I do believe. It's about 40, 53 minutes away from where we live at. Got some pretty good pickups, as you can see. I got a good stack here. Probably about, I'm thinking it's like 30 cards, I think, is what we picked up today. And then we got some little mail, daily mail stuff reveals for you. So this will probably be the first thing I'm going to get into. So let's go ahead and get right into the daily reveals with the mail. See what we picked up on eBay. This is where most of it's coming from. Get right on in here. Open it right on up. Hopefully got something uh, pretty good. I can't remember half of the freaking crap we've been ordering. Because my girl's been ordering on eBay. I've been ordering eBay. Bunch of bids going on. You know, so let's get right into this and see what this is. Oh, okay. So we got the Peyton Manning. Colts quarterback card. I think it's a little parallel you can get. And this card was in 2000 from Collector's Edge of Tennessee. All rights reserved. So not bad little eBay pickup. Just like a PC, more or less, what this is for. Let's get into the next one. I know I got a pretty, I think I got a CD lamb in here. A rookie CD lamb. Oh, that's my Khabib. Global icons. Not too savvy. I definitely like that for sure. What you guys think about that? We got this really extremely cheap. Most of these we got really cheap on eBay. Let's get into the third and final mail package. Oh, man. Boy, don't joke around with these daggum mail packages. This right here is a pretty good package. I do believe this one right here. Oh, he's got the cards hidden from us. Why would you do this to us? It's extra protection. It's always good. Extra protection. I do believe this is my rookie CD lamb die cut. Boo yeah. It is the purple CD lamb die cut rookie card. One of my favorite players right now. I'm a Dallas fan. Couldn't pass this card up. It's pretty well centered. As you can tell. Not too bad. I can definitely deal with that for sure any day. All right. Now let's get into some of the cards that we picked up today at Breaking Bangers. All right, let's get right into this. Let's set these up here. I'll put, a white, I'll put the white card over it, screw it. All right, we got a Kevin Knox, a purple rated rookie from Optic. It is not numbered. I figure it's a good little pickup. I like Kevin Knox, little rated rookie, purple, silver prism, can't beat that. And our next card will be a season tickets, Nick Chubb. Seat 24, row 511, selection 227. Plays a running back for the Cleveland Browns. And this card is numbered 69 out of 175. So not too bad with the red season ticket, Nick Chubb. I paid a good price for it. Can't quite remember exactly what I paid for it, but it was pretty cheap. And then I picked this josh allen up for my brother not bad it's got kind of like the uh, red white and blue kind of look for the bills definitely a good pickup this card is numbered 51 of 250 so not a bad pickup there for uh, josh allen let's go on to the next one and i picked up i just really like the way these cards look and this is a james harden I can't remember exactly what this is called, but I really love the like splash and the purple blue look in this card. It's not numbered. It's a James Harden. Really nice card, if you ask me. It's good for a PC or a hot seller just from the look. Might grade this. I don't I'm not sure. Let's go into the next one. And I picked up another one quite like this. Except this is Giannis. Everybody collects Giannis. I know I do. He is his cards are pretty hot right now. Like he's a really great player. This is definitely a PC card for me. Let's get a little bit of light in there. You can see how it shimmers. Super nice. And we got a Magic Johnson. I just randomly found this out of nowhere, guys. Like just scrolling through the scrolling through the daggum boxes, one dollar boxes, two dollar boxes, and I found a numbered 72 out of 125 Magic Johnson from Spectra. So what you guys think about that? 72 out of 125 Magic Johnson. Symbols. Definitely a legend. I mean, it's Magic Johnson, guys. Come on. 
All right. Now we have a Jonathan Kaminga purple. I do believe it is number 38 out of 49. 30 out of 49 is a purple Jonathan Kaminga rookie. Could not pass it up. I mean, it threw my price up for a total with the cards that I was getting, not my old lady was getting. Threw mine up about 50 bucks. But I could not talk myself out of not holding on to this card. I mean, it's Jonathan Kaminga purple rookie card, and it is numbered freaking 38 out of 49. Can't beat that low print. Definitely a must have. Hold it in the collection. Probably get the, definitely going to get that graded for sure. And then we found a Robert Whitaker, the purple, red, and green. I do believe this is a wave. I'm not quite sure exactly what this kind of parallel is called. But not too bad. He's a great fighter. He fought Asanya, got his butt whooped and all, but still not a bad card. I like it. We can definitely run with that all day long. Had to get a little bit of refreshment, guys. So my voice don't run out. Now the next one, my girl found some of these Pro Set Prospect cards, which are numbered. And when he got a Jamie Newman, and this is a rookie card from Leaf, or a Leaf rookie card. And this card is number 10 of 30. Kind of insane. Figured we'd pick these up and see what happens. They're real nice cards, really well taken care of. And I think these are like, they're a little thicker than the normal cards. I think they're over 35 point i'm not quite too sure and then we got another one we got a Jarrett patterson pro set prospect this card is a rookie and it is numbered 30 of 35 for this one so not too bad she's finding them number ones like the last thing i know is she had like five or six number cards so she was on one and she actually found a chubba herbert pro set prospect rookie Numbered 15 of 75. So a chub of her. This is probably one of the, her better cards. I feel like she actually ended up getting from the pro set prospects. The chub of her. It's like a red kind of. Uh, thing. can't quite remember exactly what those are called. So let's uh, get right on into the next one. We got a Caleb Firely pro set prospects leaf rookie. It's kind of blue, and it is numbered 67 of 75. Pretty decent card there. You might hear Mammy getting on to the kids in the background, guys. Hopefully that isn't too much disturbance. You know, kids don't like to clean up after themselves, so uh, they get kind of griped at a little bit. We got a Javon McKinley, wide receiver, pro prospect, rookie card from Leaf. This card is also numbered 10 of 25. So this is actually a pretty low numbered card, 10 of 25, with the pink cracked eyes. Pretty nice card. Definitely like this pickup. I do believe Kayla is the one that picked this card up. Not too bad with the low number. And then we got a Zach Moss die cut. It's like a red silver prism from the Bills rookie. Probably not giving this to my brother Cody. He kind of he loves the Bills, so this card is not numbered though. But a nice little Zach Moss rookie when he played for the Bills. I don't think he plays for the Bills anymore. I do believe he went to a different team, but I'm not quite sure what team he plays for now. But we know he started at the Bills. And this is probably one of my one of the, my favorite pickups that we got today. It is a Jalen Hurts. And it is numbered 55 of 150. I do not think it is a rookie card at all. It was Printed in 2021 Phoenix football by Panini. Really nice color match. You know, I, the kind of scheme I try to go with with most of these, trying to match the colors because they sell good and they're really good to collect, if you ask me. And we're going to the next one. And I picked this up for my PC. This is a CJ Stroud parallel. It's like a super glow, I guess that's what they call it, CJ Stroud. He probably won't do too good in the NFL or anything, but I want to pick this up for my PC because I'm a Buckeyes fan. Just throw it down, scratch it up. This card is not numbered, but it's a pretty good PC card for myself. Then we got a James Harden National Pride. I, I was kind of iffy about this card. I was, I was looking at it, and it just kept like showing back up in the box. I guess it was the same card. I wasn't keeping track of what I was looking for, but 
it kept showing back up it's not numbered it is from 2021 mosaic basketball it's not a bad little car it could sell on ebay pretty easily you know just good pick up probably sell quick or even put it in my pc and then we got a kevin knox this is a mosaic i do believe i dang i cannot remember what these are called but nice little kevin knox the second mosaic not too bad didn't pay much at all i think i paid like a dollar or two dollars for that and then I'm a I'm a Ray Lewis fan, guys. I went two weeks ago to Breaking Bangers, and I put this card back in the box. And lo and behold, bam, there it was, along with the C.J. Stroud that I just showed you guys. And they were still in the box, so I went ahead and picked these up because I shouldn't have left them in there. Big time Ray Lewis fan. This is not a very expensive card. You know, Ray Lewis, orange mosaic, you know, a little insert, insert or whatever, but not a bad little PC pickup right there, if you ask me. I mean, also, it's like more of a, a purple match. I mean, the little octagon in the background is purple, so it matches a little bit, but the orange kind of throws it off. But then we got another Buckeyes, a prism. We got a red Terry McLaurin for the Buckeyes, Terry McLaurin. Pretty nice. If you're a Buckeyes fan, let me know what you guys think about this guy right here. I haven't really watched him play much, so I'm not too, sh too sure about it. Maybe Card Collector 2 will be able to see this and, uh, you know, kind of let me know a little bit more about Terry McLaurin. I hope he does. Let's go into the next card. And we got a Giannis. This is a center stage parallel. A Giannis from Mosaic. From 2021 Mosaic Basketball. Pretty cheap pickup. Just got it for a more or less PC. You know, I mean, I might try to sell it or something. But not a card I'm going to waste money on grading or anything. You know, just a little PC pickup, more or less. If I could flip it and make a, a dollar more or so, then I will. Now, I'm a Luka fan. Everybody knows if you've been watching the videos. I got a Luka Doncic Crusade. It's the bluish. It's like the blue silver looking. It's not silver, but it's like a base blue. Just a good card pickup for my PC. Basically, all it was. No flip necessary for this card. Going straight to the PC. And then I got a Tyrese Maxi. I don't know why I got this card. I know it said it's this playing the numbers game. It's a red cracked ice rookie card. Tyrese Maxey plays for the Philadelphia 76ers. And has 30 points. So making the first start of his NBA career, Maxey proved he could play with the pros against Denver on January 2nd, 2021. The Kentucky the Kentucky product scored 39 points and did six assists with that incredible performance serving as a sample he should make many more starts throughout his career so i kind of picked this up hoping that uh, this guy right here is going to be pretty lit it's pretty hard to put up 30 points in the nba unless you're a, like a, a really good player you know hoping that he's going to pay off one day trade that and maybe sell later i couldn't help myself i found a nuts and bolts Scotty Pippen didn't get I can't remember exactly what I paid for this I just know he sold the stack I had to me in a lot of 50 and he gave me like I think he gave me $30 off because I donate cards there a lot of junk wax and stuff to the youth so he got me a Scotty Pippen nuts and bolts insert and this is from the 1996 Fleer not too bad I was looking for the Jordan can't find it except for on eBay but I'm definitely going to pick up a Jordan nuts and bolts as soon as I'm able to if I could find one at a reasonable price. A lot of people overpriced. And this is one of the ones that I picked up. This is Des Fitzpatrick. And it is a sticker auto. This card is number 2 of 10. I'm not sure. I think this is Fitzpatrick's son. I'm not sure. There's a lot of Fitzpatrick's out there. But for a 2 of 10, Des Fitzpatrick, wide receiver with a sticker auto. I had to pick this up. Probably going to get it graded, see what happens. Hoping this guy turns into a legend and plays extremely well. And that he's Fitzpatrick's, Larry Fitzpatrick's son. That'd be amazing. I need some more information. If you guys leave the comments or anything, if you know anything about this Des Fitzpatrick player here, let me know. Because I think he plays for USC. I think that's exactly the school that he plays for. I'm not quite sure. Yep. All right, guys, if you can, let me know. Be nice to know a little bit of information about that card. Dez Fitzpatrick. Then I picked up a blue disco Magic Johnson in his Michigan State 
uniform. Let's go Spartans. I gotta like Spartans a little bit just cause Mag Johnson. Even though I'm an Ohio State fan and I despise all Michigan teams. But not too bad in the disco. Not too bad. That's definitely a PC card. I'm gonna put that somewhere and we're gonna collect that and hold on to it for a while. Probably never sell it. Then I went through and I found a silver disco by Jason Tatum. Nice card. Pretty well centered almost all the way around the card. Probably a card I'll get graded and see what happens and maybe pass this on to a collector. Now let's go into another one. I found a Maneuvers. This is from the Brooklyn Nets. James Harden numbered third, or sorry guys, 24 to 49 from Recon. Extremely nice card. I just picked it up. Maybe I sell it or even hold on to it. Super nice card. 24 to 49. James Harden. And then, of course, my Stephen Curry. It's a pink. Real shiny and stuff. Picked this up for the PC. It's from uh, Spectra. Yeah, 2019 to 2020 Panini Status Basketball. My bad. Status, not Spectra. But not a bad little pickup. Not an expensive card either. But good for a PC. Girls mainly like it. Especially Kayla. She likes the pink. And we got a Tyson Campbell Rookie. Silver Prism. Really nice card. This card is number 29 of 299. So only 300 of these made. Hopefully he blows up. Not bad for... Uh, <clears throat> since we're in Georgia. You know what I mean? For any Georgia fans, this would definitely be something good to hold on to. You never know. He's a good player. We're getting down to the bottom 10, guys. And my girl found this. A little die cut. Not worth much, but Francis Nagano die cut. With the silver look. Not too shabby. And then we got a Bantam Weight Amanda Nunez Red from Elite. I do believe. Okay, this card is numbered. Okay, it's number 27 of 149. So not too bad. She always finds these number cards. I like Amanda Nunez. Not a bad little card to hold back. Probably not worth a lot or anything. But good for PC because I like her. Man, who knows a bad girl. For sure. We got a Carmelo Anthony. Let me hold the card down a little bit better so you guys can actually see it instead of holding it up here. What sense does that make, you know? <laughs> All right, we got a Carmelo Anthony. Kind of got a silver look with Spectra. And this card is definitely thicker than 35 points. It is a 2021 Panini Spectra Basketball. With a Carmelo Anthony. This is a card that my girl picked up. She likes Carmelo Anthony. Pretty decent player. Just throw her cards around. She get mad at me. I don't think this is numbered. No, it's definitely not numbered. Okay. All right. And then she picked up her winning ticket. Tom Brady. Player Tom Brady. Team Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Panini Contenders. 2020 football. She likes Tom Brady. She collects them all like trash card if you ask me but for a pc nothing's trash right for a pc nothing's trash then she picked up her her man connor mcgregor i'd kick him in the face if i could probably beat me up but she likes connor mcgregor she picked up a silver ufc connor mcgregor from uh 2021 certified not too bad he's definitely a pretty tough guy right there man i wouldn't want to mess with him unless i was trained i'd probably kick him in the face and I found a crusade. There's something about this orange and black crusade. Has like the little optic look behind it there with the black and the orange. Guy plays for Vanderbilt. Aaron the Smith rookie. Don't really know much about this player, but it was a really nice card. I couldn't pass it up. I figured I'd hold on to this. See what happens. You know, might make me some money later. Never know. And last but not least, we have a Marshawn. Purple Broken Eyes, or Broken Cracked Eyes, Marshawn Lattimore from New Orleans Saints. And this card is numbered 84 of 225. So not too bad on the pickups today. This is probably one of my favorite pickups that we got from Breaking Bangers. This is my favorite one that I got in the mail. CD Lamb Rookie Purple. 
and most definitely my crusade i hope you guys like the video you like and subscribe leave in the comments which one is your favorite and if you guys got any uh, advice that you can give me on anything that I should list, some certain process or anything, please do that. And I hope you guys enjoy your night. Happy New Year. We'll see you next time.